He threw the letter. Test one, two. This enemy is discredited. What's up everyone? <laughs> it's Tissi Notra, your beatmaking vocal coach and voice teacher with a touch of mysticism. If you just discovered my channel, hello! <laughs> Thank you for being here. Grab a warm beverage and some cookies. Get ready for some magical and super synchronistic stories. First of all, I want to say a quick thank you to all of my beautiful students. I love you guys so much! Because of you, I'm still top rated seller and Fiverr's choice for vocal coaches and voice teachers. And I really appreciate it. Also, a big thank you to Fiverr here as well. Alrighty guys, so first of all, I'm here now <laughs> on the flipping Canary Islands. Can you believe it? So the footage that you see is from two different times, meaning from Munich and then also from the past month ever since I'm here. The time goes so fast. Oh, and this little scene right here. <laughs> the shots that you see from me creating the beat that you hear in the background right now are actually from two different beats that I worked on <laughs> because the beat that I wanted to originally use for this video had to be recycled for another YouTube project, <laughs> which I'm extremely excited about, but I can't give it away yet. <laughs> also, you're going to see my hilarious teaching construction at Music Corner in the middle of the living room with the typical Spanish open kitchen area in the background. <laughs> and you have to forgive me, guys, because I have ocean view from this angle. I refuse to go into the dark office in the back, so sorry for the weird background. And honestly, I have no clue how I can solve this situation because I think I can't live without the ocean view anymore. <laughs> it's just so inspiring. And just one of those thousand little details in this place that totally aligned with everything I visualized in my manifestation techniques. It really works. It's so magical, guys. Gratitude, 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 gratitude. <laughs> To be real, if I would get into all the details and all the incredible synchronicities that happened so that I ended up here in this exact place, and how everything in and around this apartment fits my exact needs, just like a glove, I would have to make a 10 hour long video. <laughs> for example, at first the rental agreement was for a whole year. And then I was like, oh geez, that's really long. I don't even know if I want to stay here. Oh my gosh, do I have to decide that right now? Ah, little panic. <laughs> but then I immediately stopped and I thought to myself, hold up. I need to manifest a situation in which I have a bit more, let's say, better time buffer to decide. <laughs> and boom, there it was. I now have time till December, which is a total time of six months, to decide whether I want to really fully stay here or not, with the option of elongating the rental agreement. Woo -woo -woo! <laughs> which just goes to show me over and over again that the more we trust, the more everything just falls into our lap. Literally, it just falls into our lap. It's so magical. <laughs> Another big one for me is that not only is this place here fully furnished and in the heart center of the city, while still having the ocean view, which was totally impossible to everyone else, by the way, but also all the stores and little shops that I need for my daily life are like right around the corner from my place, including a shop that carries all the painting equipment that I need, <laughs> including canvases. Like, are you kidding me? I'm telling you guys, the right manifestation technique and then even more the knowing and the trust that the universe knows way better than us what we need will never fail to deliver our desires. To the dot. Another example. I'm a huge avocado eater, okay? <laughs> to the point that people make fun of me. And dude, 
<laughs> the place has a 30-year-old avocado tree that the landlord's mom planted right here on my terrace. What? <laughs> Holy moly crisp balls. Then also, when I used to live in LA, I used to be obsessed with this beautiful smell of the angel trumpet trees, which those are actually forbidden in Germany because of their highly poisonous and psychedelic blossoms, actually. But they're so beautiful and they smell so good. And guess what? Double guess what? There is one right on my terrace as well. <laughs> this is crazy. And then the Bougainvilliers. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce them. <laughs> Who doesn't love those? I mean, the place even had the shampoo in the shower that I always use. <laughs> but however, of course, like always in life, there were some things to learn and fears to overcome, especially after my boyfriend left. <laughs> First of all, there was of course the sadness because we usually live together. So that was a bit of a hard thing at first, the first couple days. But luckily we are both self-employed and are able to see each other fairly often. So that's luckily not a big deal. So I will always be in Germany for a month and then it's his turn and back and forth and so on. <laughs> After all, it's luckily just a four hour flight, which also comforts me so that I don't feel like I'm so far from my family also. But a whole nother thing that happened that was very interesting is the actual inspiration and the whole reason why I chose the topic of this video, which is the whole thing about being able to experience the now, how to be fully in the now entirely without drifting off. And I'm telling you guys, it's the most magical and awe striking place to live in, period. Anyhow, so this weird thing kept happening to me in the beginning, where I always experienced this crazy anxiety and sadness every time I saw something that reminded me of my time in LA. Hmm. Which ended up happening all the time, since one of the reasons why I wanted to be here on the Canary Islands is because the climate is so similar to California. So everything just kept reminding me of LA. <laughs> And it took me a couple of days of closer observation of my thought process. And then I discovered that I must have traumatized myself a little bit during the 10 years in California. <laughs> because even though I loved LA so, so much, it also meant that I haven't seen my family in 12 years. And it also meant that I wasn't really able to travel or find any random job like any other person because of my visa status. So then, every time I went for a walk here, and every time I saw the ocean or the mountains, I would get super triggered and my mind immediately went into the mode that it knows. Which was seeing the ocean equals being far away from my family and all the above. <laughs> so after a couple days I was like, um, hold on a minute. Is somebody living in the past or what? <laughs> So then, as usual, I had to do the good old thing that I practiced the most and do for so long already, which is to take control over my mind and control my thoughts and therefore be in the now. And just by being in the now, I was able to find the awareness and the knowing that I just had to create new memories, meaning building new neural pathways in connection to my surroundings. And I'm telling you guys, it was such a strong anxiety and almost panic that kept arising. My mind was literally looking for things to be threatened by. <laughs> and these are the moments where being in the now is really important. Because of course, it's all easy when things are going perfect. But when severe things happen, like somebody in the family getting sick or let alone somebody passing away, or a sudden breakup or betrayal or a job loss or anxiety or panic attacks or whatever, then being in the now is the only thing that will get you back to normality. Normality? Normalcy? You know what I mean. <laughs> Here's a little technique on how to experience the now. 
But get ready though when you tried it because yes, it's extremely magical and will make you feel like you're on some type of DMT or something. Actually, that's because when you do it right, the body will actually create DMT and all sorts of happiness hormones. But but I also want to say that this is something that needs to be practiced especially when you want to hold that state throughout the day. And a good way to master that is to learn to control your thoughts. I already made a whole tutorial on how to learn that in my last video. It's a literal tutorial. <laughs> so if you're interested, go check it out. But anyhow, so the first thing you want to do is sit down in a comfortable place. And it doesn't really have to be quiet, but just for the beginning, maybe don't have anything in the background that will distract you too much so that you lose focus. Now, the next thing you want to do is for a couple of minutes get comfortable around the thought that literally everyone and everything you know, and that includes all the animals in the ocean and the planets and the earth spinning and all these things, they all exist only now. There is no other moment than now. The past and the future are non-existent because everything always happens in the now. When you experienced yesterday, it was also now. And when you experience tomorrow, it's also going to be now again. So only now exists. Now keep that awareness up for a while, for a couple of minutes. Then the next thing you wanna do is listen to the sounds around you and see how many you can detect, how many sounds. And keep that up for a while as well. And the next step, to extend your hearing to as far as you can. So far, see if you can detect the sound of the earth spinning <laughs> or the sound of the universe. And keep that up for a while again. So then the next thing you want to do is look at the things around you and become aware that everything you see, including you, is made out of the same atoms. If you were to zoom in, it's all just a sea of atoms, meaning we're all made out of the same stuff. Everything is made out of the same stuff. All is one. Now keep that up for a while again. And then when you have that awareness, the next thing you want to do is look out of your eyes, out of your body, as if you were an avatar that just woke up in this body. And then look at your hands. Take your time looking at your hands and become aware of your own existence and become aware of your beautiful body that you occupy and the beautiful automated functions that it has. Keep that up for a while again. Observe your hands. And lastly, just how you just got aware of your own existence, become aware of all existence. All. And try to sense it. Try to sense the all and the infinity. See how far you can stretch your senses. And if you really focus and you do that right, you will experience the most awe-striking, ecstasy-like feeling and an ultra-high of love. There's going to be an odd remembrance and a mysterious awareness that will overcome you. This sensation will arise that you just became lucid in a dream. And there might be a great sense of power and maybe even a huge deja vu-like sensation. Some people even cry the first time they try that. And that's it. The whole thing should maybe take about 10 minutes max. And it's one of the greatest things you'll ever experience. You're welcome. <laughs> Anyhow, so there you have it. Don't give up. The more you practice it, the better you'll get. And you'll get to a point where you can literally bring up that feeling of being in the now at a snap of a finger. Really, really, really. Just keep practicing. So I'm super interested, guys, in your experiences. So let me know in the comments how it's going. And that's already it. Much love to everyone. Stay focused and have a blessed now. Mm -hmm.